Hello everyone. Welcome to Amazon Sub Tip webcast. In this video guide, we are going to see the steps to encrypt user data with EFS to secure them. But what is EFS? EFS stand for encrypting a file system. EFS helps to secure the data that is stored in your folders and files on NTFS volume by creating a unique key that uses a combination of the machine's credential and the user's credential. It uses symmetric encryption algorithm to make it fast. That means it uses the same key for encryption and decryption. It stores the key inside the same file which we have encrypted. But to protect the key, EFS uses user certificate to encrypt the key as well. So without the user certificate, even the user is not able to access the encrypted data. I hope this makes sense about encrypting file system. Without wasting more time, let's start the practical part. For this demo, we are using the test lab created in VirtualBox. We have total three virtual machines. One is our domain controller, and other two are our client computer, which are joined to our Active Directory domain. Under Active Directory users and computers, as you can see, I have created two users with name test user one and test user two. Both users are member of the security group test users. For the purpose of this video demonstration, I have created one share folder on a domain controller with the name test users data. On the share folder, already I have assigned the permission so our users can access the share folder and store data under this share folder. Fine. Let's move to our Windows 10 client computer. On our Windows 10 client computer, already as you can see, we have logged in with the credential of test user 2. Let's open File Explorer. Let's click on this PC. Let's double click on D drive. Let's right click here and create a new folder. Let's give name user 2 data. Let's double click on this folder. Let's create a one text file under this folder. Okay, let's give name sample file. Let's double click on it and let's add some text under this sample file. Okay, let's save this file and let's close it. Now let's go back to D drive. I'm going to encrypt this folder to secure them. Let's right click on it and go for the properties. Click on advanced. Select encrypt contents to secure data. Let's click on OK. Click on apply. When you click on apply button, it will ask you that what do you want to do with subfolders and other files are stored under this folder. Do you want to encrypt them as well? Yes, and that's why we are going to select apply changes to this folder, subfolders and files as well. Let's click on OK. Click on OK again. And here we are not able to see any changes. Earlier in a Windows 7 computer, when you encrypt a folder that time, the color will be changed to green. So you can identify that this folder is encrypted. But in Windows 10, it doesn't turn into green color. Let's double click on this folder. But here you can see on a file, we have a one symbol of lock. That means this file is encrypted. We can also see attribute as well. Let's uh, select attributes and click on OK. You can verify E attribute is there. That means this file is encrypted. So now, so even if other users have full control on the sample file, still they are not able to access it because to access this file, they need that key. And that key is generated with the help of a user's credential and this Windows 10 machine's credential. Let's see the property of this text file because I want to show something as well. Let's click on advanced button. Let's click on details. You can see who can access this file. Only user 2 can access this file. Other users are not able to access this file even if they have a full control. And even if user 2 want to access this file, that time user 2 need a certificate with this certificate thumbprint. So already we have discussed about this user certificate. This is the thumbprint which user need when he want to access this encrypted data. Let me show this certificate as well. Let's press Windows R key to open run menu. Type MMC and press enter key. Click on file. Click on add remove snap-ins. Select certificate and click on add. 
क्लिक ऑन ओके अगेन एक्सपान सर्टिफिकेट एक्सपान पर्सनल एंड यू कैन सी सर्टिफिकेट इज दैट दिस इज अल्फ साइंस सर्टिफिकेट जनरेटेड बाई यूज टू एंड इज यू टू यूज इट टू द सर्टिफिकेट इज गोइंग टू यूज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ एनक्रिप्शन Let's click on details and let's scroll a little bit. And that uh, thumbprint is there, starting with D fifty eight five B. Let's verify that thumbprint key with this key. Fine. So as you can see, this is the certificate which user two need if he want to access the content of this sample file. Fine. Now we also want to check one more thing. Let's sign out from this Windows ten client computer. and let's log in with the credential of our other user test user 1 let's click on other user user 1 and specify the password after logging to windows 10 client computer with the credential of user 1 let's open file explorer let's double click on a d drive here we can see user 2 data folder is there let's open it and here we can see sample file is there If you try to access the content of the sample file, you are going to get this error. You don't have permission to open this file. See the owner of the file or an administrator to obtain permission. And even if you have a full control, you are not able to access it because this file is encrypted. Let's see the properties. Click on Advance. And if user try to decrypt it, and click on OK button. click on apply button that time it is going to give you one error that you are not able to decrypt this file okay let's uh, cancel it again i'm going to open the properties click on advance click on details and here you can see only user 2 can access this text file fine so this is the way how we can encrypt the file locally but what happen if user try to encrypt the share folder on this computer already i have logged in with the credential of test user 1 last access the share folder which we have created on our domain controller last double click on test users data share folder last create folder under this share folder user 1 data last double click on it and here i am going to create text file Okay, let's add some text. Okay, let's save this file and close it. Let's right-click on user one data folder. Go for the properties. Already you know the steps. Let's select encrypt content to secure data. Click on OK. Click on apply. It is going to ask you that do you want to encrypt this folder, subfolders, and file? Yes, we want to. Click on OK. Here we are receiving message that it is applying. encryption attributes to that a share folder okay let's click on okay button and here you can see we are using windows 7 client computer that's why you can see the color of this folder is changed to green that already i mentioned earlier let's double click on it and here let's right click on sample file go for the properties click on advanced click on details and here we can see thumbprint is there but this time one change is there let me show that let's press windows r key and let's open mmc console let's click on file and add and remove snap in select certificates click on add click on okay if we expand certificates for our current user expand personal store this time we are not able to see any certificate on this windows 7 client computer why because you have encrypted the folder which was shared and that's the reason when you have encrypted the folder which is stored under the share folder that time it is going to generate efs key and as you know that to generate efs key we need machine credential and user credential and in this case the folder was a share that's why it used our domain controller's credential and our user's credential to generate the key and that's why our certificate is not stored on this windows 7 client that certificate is currently stored on our domain controller and that's the reason that why our local certificate store is empty so this is the way how we can use efs to secure user data by encrypting them
and even if other users have full control on it they are not able to access the data once you have encrypted it because to access that encrypted data you need that certificate and other user doesn't have that certificate so that's why they are not able to access it that's it for this video demonstration thank you all for watching this video if you have any question related to this video feel free to post in comment section thank you all